Each week, U.S. Bank brings us stories of athletes who amaze us. Courtney Tate joins us now with the story of a Half Moon Bay soccer player who is a sensation on the slopes. That's right, guys. Half Moon Bay's Sydney Finger Hut lives by the motto, take it to the extreme, as she divides her time between soccer and competitive snowboarding. Soccer has a long history in Sydney Finger Hut's family. Sydney says she followed in her mother's footsteps and fell in love with the sport at a very early age. I just started playing soccer and fell in love with it and have been playing pretty much ever since I was around four years old. Sydney also found a passion for another sport early on. By the age of two, this active toddler was already on the ski slopes, finding her second love in extreme sports. I started out skiing when I was around two years old, really young, and one day I just told my, both of my parents, like, I want to start snowboarding. Um, both of them are snowboarders, and uh, they were super happy about it, and uh, as soon as I was four, I started snowboarding up in Tahoe. Sydney is now competing competitively on both the soccer pitch and on the slopes. The center back helps Half Moon Bay soccer team during the week. On the weekends, it's off to snowboarding tournaments all around the world. Sydney then discovered free riding. This open mountain boarding became her passion. I started out competing when I was pretty young in a park division and it was a fun time but I was always competing against older girls and more recently I started competing on the free ride side of snowboarding which is what I'm super big on. Sydney says her soccer coach makes it easy for her to manage balancing both sports in the same season by making sure he encourages her to excel in both. I always encourage all the players to play as many sports as they possibly can when they're, uh, you know, this age. Um, a, lot of, a lot of them, uh, you know, sports are an outlet. Um, they're students first, and I encourage them to do that. Being a multi-sport athlete, a sport requiring frequent travel can become overwhelming. Sydney says her passion for both soccer and snowboarding keeps her motivated. It can be difficult at times having to, you know, uh, compete in both sports and having a lot on your plate, but I think that my like love for the sport and how much joy it brings me just drives me to keep on pushing and do my best for both. Coach Day says he focuses on making sure Sydney takes proper care of her body during the off season to make sure she can withstand two very physically demanding sports. With Sydney, it's about um, making sure that she takes care of her body in the off season making sure that she's doing the right exercises and the right training to, so that she can stay strong. Sid says sometimes it feels like there isn't enough time in the day, but somehow she finds a way to make it happen. It's a huge time thing. I make sure that I have a very planned day. Um, as soon as school is done, I go home. I will do my homework and get all that stuff done before I come to practice. And whatever I didn't get done before practice, I just get right home and finish my work just to make sure I'm prepared for school the next day. Sydney's friend and teammate Danilia Costa says she admires Sydney's work ethic. Her leadership is evident on the field. She helps out encouraging people, especially like she said, she um, helps younger players all the time, try to motivate them to do better with their skills and overall helps them learn from their mistakes on the field and off the field. Sydney is now looking for colleges which will allow her to continue her snowboarding career in the future. Well, I'm definitely thinking about going to college in an area where there's snow just to be able to have that opportunity to continue my snowboarding. Sydney tells me her next step in deciding where she will land after high school is visiting some of her top colleges and she hopes to make a decision sometime by her early start of her senior year. That's very cool taking a helicopter to the top of the mountain right. to be able to take it down to the bottom. Right. Amazing. Extreme for sure.